Hello, Big Shoes. Chapter 10, Punishment. All men tremble at punishment. All men fear death. Remember that you are like unto them, and do not kill nor cause slaughter. All men tremble at punishment. All men love life. Remember that thou art like unto them, and do not kill nor cause slaughter. He who is seeking his own happiness punishes or kills beings who also long for happiness will not find happiness after death. He who is seeking his own happiness does not punish or kill beings who also long for happiness will find happiness after death. Do not speak harshly to anyone. Those who are spoken to will answer thee in the same way. Angry speech is painful. Blows for blows will touch thee. If, like a shattered metal plate, thou utter nothing, then thou hast reached nirvana. Anger is not known to thee. As a cowherd with his staff drives his cows into the stable, so do age and death drive the life of men. A fool does not know when he commits his evil, but when the wicked man burns by his own deeds as if burnt by fire. He who inflicts pain on innocent and harmless persons will soon come to one of these ten states. He will have cruel suffering, loss, injury of the body, heavily affliction, or loss of mind, or a misfortune coming from the king, or a fearful accusation, or a loss of relations, or destruction of treasures, or lightning fire will burn his houses, and when his body is destroyed, the fool will go to hell. Not nakedness, not plated hair, not dirt, not fasting or lying on the earth, not rubbing with dust, not sitting motionless can purify a mortal who has not overcome desires. He who, though dressed in fine apparel, exercises tranquility, is quiet, subdued, restrained, chaste, and has ceased to find fault with all other beings. He indeed is a Brahmana, an ascetic, Samana, a friar, or a bhikshu. Is there in this world any man so restrained by shame that he does not provoke reproof as a noble horse the whip? Like a noble horse, when touched by the whip, be ye strenuous and eager. And by faith, by virtue, by energy, by meditation, by discernment of the law, you will overcome this great pain, perfect in knowledge and in behavior, and never forgetful. Well makers lead the water wherever they like. Fletchers bend the arrow, carpenters bend a log of wood. Good people fashion themselves. That was chapter 10 on punishment. The following chapter, chapter 11, is old age. Let us think on chapter 10 in punishment. <clears throat> 